Welcome to the scripting Wi-Fi pen testing tools in Python series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at how to take AeroDump ng's output and put it into a database so that we can search and play with it. So what are we really going to do here? Well, AeroDump ng has an option where we can go ahead and store its output in the form of a net XML file. Now this XML file is something we can go ahead, feed into an XML parser like beautiful soup and then mine and push useful information into the SQLite database. So let's jump right in. Now the first step is to make AeroDump ng create the net XML. Now this can be done very easily with the hyphen hyphen write option and let's say we call the file pen tester academy this is what the file name would be prepended with let's give it a couple of seconds so that it can go ahead and mine some information from here couple of more seconds probably I'll just allow it to run for a minute that ensures that we have a very good XML file with uh, you know a lot of networks in there and you can see this classic issue where you know things end up just scrolling down from the visible screen and there could be a ton of networks, right? So we see a lot of hidden SSID networks. Okay, let me kill this. Now, if I actually do a ls for all files prepended with Pentester Academy, you would actually find a bunch of them. The one we are interested in is the Pentester Academy hyphen o1 kismet.net xml, right? There we go. So if you notice inside this, the different wireless networks are mentioned. Right. And you can clearly see that there are both wireless networks as well as clients as well, right? Now I'm going to show you with the wireless networks the client part is something you can try uh, later on. So let's actually look at what this file contains, right? Let me just do a cat and let me do a grep on wireless network. So if you notice, we have a bunch of these networks I think 20 to be exact, right? We could even check for the ESSID fields. We can see a bunch of them in there. Cool. So now let's begin writing a Python script for this. Now just for our reference, I'm going to open up the NetXML file in another terminal. Now, if you notice, we actually have uh, each individual network beginning with a tag wireless network. And inside that we have an SSID tag, which contains the SSID, the encryption. We also have a BSSID tag, and then we have channel and a bunch of other things. So in this video, we will take up each of these networks, figure out the ESSID, figure out the encryption, the BSSID, the channel, and then put all of this into the database. So let's first create our database. Just like in the last video, SQLite, let's call this database networks.db. I'm going to create a table, create table, let's call this networks as well. 
first field let it actually be an id field just like what we had done before and we would like this to auto increment so id integer let's also make this the unique primary key auto increment then let's put in a location parameter which the attacker can add location share 100 of course this cannot be null so not null then we have the essid share 55 not null then we have the mac address okay this can be a chair 50 not null hmm then we have the channel it can just be an int what else did we plan to put in channel bssid the encryption right And share 200 not null there we go so we have created the table in the SQLite file now let's go back in here and start writing some code so let's call this arrow dump to SQLite.py Let's import SQLite 3 sys and if you recall I said the XML parser I'm going to use is beautiful soup which can do both HTML and XML parsing from beautiful soup import beautiful soup right now let's actually do this manually first to ensure we understand what is happening so file to open is going to be this one pen tester academy hyphen zero one dot kismet dot net xml for reading Let's display the file. There it is. Now let's import beautiful soup. So let's create quick XML beautiful soup representation. Fantastic. Now, beautiful soup actually allows us to search uh, for different, you know, uh, parameters very, very simply. So let me show you how. Now, let's say you wanted to isolate the list of all wireless networks. All I would have to do is uh, networks equals XML DOM dot find all wireless network and if you look at the LAN networks actually find this to be 20 and now we actually have each of these networks in here if you notice right from pretty much start to finish here it is right fantastic now the next thing I really want to find in here is the ESSID now the best part is there is only ESSI, one ESSID field in there. So I could actually do for network in networks print network.find ESSID. Right? And then I can do a print ESSID. Oops. 
uh, my mistake for network blah 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 I just had to print this I'm not storing that in a variable anywhere and there you go so if you notice we get the list of all the ESSID tags right now if we were interested only in the actual value uh, we could simply do this dot text and there you go now we actually have a list of all the ssids right the blank ones are really hidden ssid networks which have nothing in there you can see there are a couple of them fantastic now what else do we have here similarly we can actually go ahead and find encryption the bssid as well as the channel right so just do this for the encryption just to show you an example there you go right so now let's actually incorporate this in our python script so file equals rather let me do a quick shortcut We'll take the file name as input so that we can keep using this tool with more than one XML files without having to change it every single time. There you go. For network in XML DOM dot find uh, find all wireless network, right? This is the tag name as we can clearly see here wireless network now inside this let's first get the ESSID which would be network.find ESSID text similarly channel just copy these out Channel similarly BSSID and then encryption. And finally, encryption. We saw a couple of hidden SSIDs, so we can have an additional line which says if not ESSID, ESSID equals hidden ESSID. Just so that it looks good in the database. Now I can very simply do a print ESSID channel PSSID and encryption. Let's see what happens. Each more eight plus x. There you go. Right, we have the hidden SSID, the channel, the BSSID, and the actual encryption. Fantastic. Might be interesting just to go ahead and number this up. it more readable and there we go right looks way more beautiful right now now the next step is pushing this into the database based on the schema which we have created in here right remember we have an extra location tag which we might need to take in as input so let me do that let me actually add little location here which is sys.argv2 
now let's write the database code connection equals sqlite 3 dot connect let's actually take this as input sys dot rv2 actually make this rv2 and we can make the location rv3 right more logical that way and of course at the very end here connection dot close so that we gracefully finish it and here is where we go ahead and add our insertion code so connection dot execute insert into networks location ESSID MAC ADDR what else do we have in here channel encryption values there seem to be five of them question 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 then let's actually put in the values our location and then we have ESSID which is pretty much the same in here MAC address would be the BSSID channel we have encryption seems okay so this is the first one uh, the second one is really the name of the SQLite database which we created which is networks.db and the third one is the location let's say home office there you go looks perfectly okay right now figure it out in just a bit still like star from networks hmm. Ah, here is our huge mistake we forgot to commit it right remember that after going ahead and executing this you can actually commit per entry or you can commit in a batch I'm just going to commit each of them right you could even commit after you exit the loop once for every single thing there we go And there you go fantastic right so now you can run really interesting queries on all of this so for example if you were interested in all access points which might be in channel 11 you could actually do a select star from networks where channel equals 11 there you go you have both of these right now there are a ton of other parameters depending on what you're doing could be interesting to you and that's something I would go ahead and have you explore you can have as elaborate a database schema as you desire right depending on what you would like to store in there now the advantage I've seen from a pen testers perspective is that this really allows you to de uh, retain the data well to allow you to search better uh, and actually you can even dump it in different formats and you know import it into different uh, reporting tools and whatnot so I would highly recommend going and creating such a schema for yourself so that you can analyze networks better okay so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have please do recommend Pentester Academy to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.